Hey guys, what is up? Uncle Sam 17 here, and today we are reviewing one of my favorite games of all time. Um, you know, Halo's up there, Modern Warfare's up there, but this this one has to take one of the cakes at least. Mo uh, Mirror's Edge, guys. I love this game. It's got such a great idea behind it. Uh, I cannot stress that enough. Um, it's one of the few games that hits upon parkour and free running, which is like become popular for quite a few people in the past like decade or so uh, it's the one game that hits upon that niche and I think they are niche well, uh, I have no idea how to say that anyway um, in the past decade and it's that one game that hits upon it and I think they could do really well if they just expanded a little bit but I think I think that for this I'm gonna do a let's play so uh, this is gonna be the prologue we're gonna start and Once yes I realize before you say anything energy. the cutscenes they look like bad insurance commercials I've been told this many times and I do agree now, they could have done a much much else. better job with the cutscenes it disappoints the me greatly came slowly at first. but uh, Most what you gonna realize. do um, the okay. game plays a lot better you'll see that Except in a little bit for now I'm just gonna shut up and listen to the story yeah. some didn't and those who refused to conform were pushed to the sidelines, criminalized. They became our clients. We call ourselves runners. We exist on the edge, between the gloss and the reality. The mirror's edge. We keep out of trouble, out of sight, and the cops don't bother us. Runners see the city in a different way. We see the flow. Rooftops become pathways and conduits possibilities and routes of escape. The flow is what keeps us running, keeps us alive. Alright, so what you're going to notice here is I skipped over the training area because if you do end up deciding to buy this game, the training area is required almost, I'm pretty sure, to actually get to the next level. So you're going to be doing that anyway. It's not that important of a level, it just shows you the basic moves. Um, left bumper being to jump, right bumper being to uh, do a 180 degree turn, um, left trigger being to slide, and right trigger being a attack move. Um, I'll get into a few of the other button movements and combos you can do in just a second as you see them come, um, and I'll get into them in some of the later videos too, like, um, for instance, I'm also probably going to be doing where you can find the hidden bags, which is an achievement I'm sure some people would like to get if they haven't gotten it. I understand that also this is a bit of an old game, so keep an eye on that. Um, I love this little opening scene. You don't control uh, Faith, the main character for this, but uh, it's just a great scene. That's a see. I love the art direction in this game. It's just all the contrasts of the colors and runner vision. Runner vision being when you see um, a red on an object, that means you can do a special move like a speed vault or. Um, and, and, like you can get some extra distance on it. It's just it's nice. Uh, the first one you'll see right here, it's in red. Is uh, you can go a little farther with these boards and you can jump on these. And um, anyway, you use left bumper and stuff to do like all these different tricks. Right here, like what I was saying, left bumper, right bumper, right bumper, le no, left bumper, right bumper, left bumper, right bumper. And it just basically what it does is wall run, look to your right, jump. Climb up, wall run, look, to, look behind you, and then jump off that. Which sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is, but it, it, when you get into this game and you start memorizing all the combinations, everything becomes so much more fluid. And it just, it's a wonderful game to play if you, if you start getting more into it. Um, I would really recommend giving this more than 10 minutes, because 10 minutes is not enough to get the hang of it. I'll admit, it's a game for people who you really want to sit down and take the time to appreciate what it, what it made. Um, I, w I really also, I wish they would make a Mirror's Edge 2, I don't see why DICE doesn't. I mean, they keep on saying, oh, we've got some work on it, we've got some work on it. And it's rumored to be running on the same engine as, um, Get the hell out of there. as um, Battlefield 3, but, you know, nobody knows. Anyway, here's another, here's another big use of the, uh, of the wall run and the 100 degree turns. Which I screwed up a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, by the way, did anybody ever find it weird that like the city like was always perfectly laid out for this to happen? It just, I don't know. It just, I mean, if it's nice, I like it because, like I said, it increases the flow of the game. But I mean, yeah, I'll admit this. I'll be the first to admit this is an unrealistic game. Uh, but I love it. The graphics are just like. Uh, 
just makes me wanna drool a little bit. It's just really pretty. <laughs> Anyway, um, this is coming up to the end of the level. It's a quick level, the first one, but uh, I love it. Um, another move right here is where you jump and you press left trigger to do a crouch jump. Anyway, I believe that I made a 2 minute and like 50 second time on this. For not counting all the cutscene parts as well, but that's, that's just me guessing right now. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys. Uh, I realize that we're coming to the end of this, and I'm sort of running out of things to say now, but we're going to have a second video up later this week, I promise. Um, I'll, put a I'll put a link later on when I get the other video up. X button, also to slow down right here. I'll put a link in the for the video of the training area for later, if you guys really do want that, because I screwed up so many times on that. Um, but yeah, guys, this has been Uncle Sam 17 uh, playing Mirror's Edge. Hope you guys play it too sometime soon following along, but um, I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, see ya. This is meant to be a low-key job. Why the hell were they shooting? What did you do today? Nothing. They just opened fire.